Good morning, investors and traders. In today's segment, I'll be focusing on crude oil, which has been riding for the last number of days. Why is that happening? Where can we see the prices heading from here onwards? These will be the focus points for our discussion today. As always, it is important for me to go through this brief disclaimer. If you have any questions, please feel free to get in touch with the account managers. A bit about myself. My name is Naeem Aslam. I work as a chief analyst for our trade and I come with a wealth of over 15 years of trading experience. During this time period, I have worked as a hedge fund trader for Bank of New York Marlin and as an equity trader with Bank of America. Here are our social media handles and I do recommend you guys to follow us there as we do share important information throughout the day. Now, let me bring out the MT5 platform and we can begin the conversation by looking at the daily chart for crude oil and what does the price action entails from there onwards. Now, this is what we are really referring in terms of the price action. You see these big moves in the last few days, pretty very, very decent moves, which push the prices from all the way from nearly $73 or below, uh, or, or just uh, at near 72 so 70 $2.74 to all the way to 78.49 or in other words near the important critical resistance of $80. Why is that move happening first of all? The reason that this particular move is really taking place is because a lot of enthusiasm, a lot of anticipation among investors and traders who believe that the Chinese demand is coming, Saudis are increasing prices for crude oil for Asian buyers, which is very much positive in terms of the price action. Now what I'm doing on the chart is I'm readjusting some of our support and resistance levels. So the first support is at 72.18 to 73.48. The second one is at 70.56 to 69.67. Now in terms of our resistance, the immediate sort of a resistance is at 82.65 all the way to 81.27. So that is is your first sort of resistance level that we need to be focusing on in terms of the price action. Now, as for our second important resistance zone, that is going to be running from 89.78, let's say to all the way to 88.81 or on top of this particular level. Now, overall, if we pay attention to the price action, what we really see is the price for the last number of weeks hasn't been doing much because all what we've seen is a consolidation area right over here. Now, because of this particular consolidation area the the, the entity so if, if I just change the color of this one to just to make sure that where is that consolidation area then this is the area that I'm referring so the price what it needs to do is needs to break out of this boundary to have new sort of a trend forming so in order to do that what we need to see is we need to see the price breaking out of the current zone and that means the price breaking out of out of this area or the price breaking out of this area something which is quite important in terms of the price action is the price has started to move above the 50 decimal moving average as you can see from here this one is your 100 decimal moving average and this one is your 200 decimal moving average so when we zoom out of this particular price action what we see is a bulls are trying to find some sort of a momentum coming back and then they are trying to take some control of the price action but overall the price is not that strong and we're still very much trading in a range that's all for now see you guys next time